Well, I have to say, week three has been my favourite fight night so far. We had 10 equally well-matched fighters going toe-to-toe -to, -toe to be the winner. We saw upsets, victories, and most of all, a bloody good night of sport. The first fight of the night was John Doherty versus Anthony Fox. Doherty extended his unbeaten record to nine fights after a seventh round stoppage. Now, this was a scrap from the get-go. Some would say Doherty was a bit slow to start, but I'm going to go for he was more patient while he worked Fox out, and that worked really well for him. Fox was knocked down in the third round, which gave Doherty a little bit of the boost he needed. And there was much better boxing from Doherty after that. He seemed more relaxed, he was punching with speed and accuracy. Doherty seemed to be improving more and more as the fight went on. Fox didn't give up once, he was such a resilient fighter. Sixth round was really, really great for them both. Fox was executing his punches hard and fast. He was wobbled though in the sixth round, which ultimately I think led to his knockdown in the seventh. He was already hurt from the last knockdown. Seventh round, Doherty knocked Fox down again, and he was looking for the finish, and you know, it was close. End of the seventh round, the fight was stopped, and to be honest, I'm so glad it was. It's so important to have experienced refs in the ring so they can spot any signs of damage or future damage, you know, any more Fox could have been really, really hurt. This fight definitely set the pace for the rest of the fights to come that night. Both exceptional fighters. I actually found Fox more exciting to watch than Doherty. Let me know what you guys think down below. Second fight of the night was the WBA Intercontinental Super Welterweight title, Naveed Mansouri versus Kieran Conway. I felt the atmosphere shift instantly for this fight. It very quickly became very tense. Mansouri was dodging Conway's punches but couldn't really get away. Conway was landing strong, heavy hits, and he was getting and he was getting Mansuri on the back foot. Conway was quick, guarded, meaning that Mansuri was punching glove quite a little bit. The third round was intense. I actually felt like I'd been watching at least six rounds of boxing. Mansuri has an outstanding uppercut, and he was really delivering on a combination of punches. But by the fourth round, Conway's hits were making a real impact and really hurting Mansuri. The sixth round was a real scrap, both going pound for pound. By the seventh round, my mouth was wide open with anticipation. Conway could have had Mansuri at any moment, and he was really dominating him, but he wasn't following up on his punches to get that knockout. Conway won with a unanimous points win. Excellent fight, best scrap I've seen on Matchroom. Shannon Courtney versus Rachel Ball, a fight that has divided fans. Ball is an experienced former world kickboxing champion. She's tall, she's got more rounds, she's had more fights, and these pl and these factors really played into her hands. Yeah, she keeps on going on about how she was a world champion kickboxer. I don't think we're kicking each other in this fight, so that takes nothing to me. So she can keep that kickboxing record for all I care. And she moves in behind it, she feels that she's done to face there and then the counter up the ropes from Ball. She knocked Courtney down in the first round, and in the corner, Ball's trainer said, Easy as that. The height difference in this fight was a bit of a weird one for me, and maybe that's why Courtney came in 12 ounces over to compensate for the height difference. Really good body work from Courtney throughout, which worked well for the vertical challenge that she faced. The fifth round, she was slightly overextending and not grounding her punches, but by this time, she looked like she was running out of steam. But you know, she still had really good quick head movement, and she was able to dodge Ball's hits by just going a little bit lower. Ball was able to keep Courtney at arm's length with jabs through the seventh, but the eighth round was really deciding for me. Courtney seemed to be quite tired and unable to land her usual hard hits, playing into Ball's stamina and strength. Ball took the win with a decision of 77 to 75, another really, really good fight. The next fight of the night was Zelfa Barrett versus Eric Donovan for the IVA Intercontinental Super Featherweight title. Barrett took home the title, taking his record up to 25 fights, 24 wins. Now, ugh, this was my favourite fight of the whole night. Barrett was caught a few times in the early rounds, and by the end of the third round, that was when it got really exciting. Donovan has some great movement going on, you know, he's quick, agile, accurate, and he's a really, really great fighter. He rocked Barrett in the fifth round, and I think, personally, could have had him, but, you know, Barrett really held it well. The sixth round, the volume was turned up, and we were seeing a real scrap. Barrett was getting some great shots in, and seems not to be hurt by Donovan's punches. Donovan was knocked down twice in the seventh round, and Barrett was really working hard to finish the job and get the knockout. 
eighth round, Barrett knocked down Donovan with a huge left hook with the ref suspending the count. What a fight. So much respect for them both. And still, Felix Cash remains the Commonwealth middleweight champion in, in a contest against Jason Wellborn. Now the second round was really great from Cash, hitting hard and hurting Wellborn. The fifth round, Wellborn was back in the corner. Cash caught him with a right hand over the top, making Wellborn go down. But this didn't stop Wellborn from giving it to Cash, both working each other very hard. It was another big right hand to Wellborn that took him down for the final time. Wellborn took his gum shield out and his corner threw the towel in. I genuinely don't know how next week is going to be able to top the weekend we've just had. Such an incredible, exciting night of fights. Join me next week for the final night of Fight Camp.